what we're here today to do is to help this gentleman get medicine that's legal to use in, in the state. And uh, the we vote... Have, we the, have never heard a word about it. Well, the, um, the voters in California have voted that cannabis can be used as medicine, and it's not just a drug for pot smokers. It's a drug that helps people with a lot of, of medical problems. And it does so with a safety record better than any man-made medicine. It's safer than any man-made medicine. Like, it's, it's almost like you're forcing this on to everybody no, no, here. Well, I'm not going to force, if he doesn't you're want this put medicine. put in jail and he's going to do well, this. Well, see what we call object to. police. And, well, you already mentioned that and what, what I was. mentioned it. I mean, this is what's happened. We've been here just a few minutes. And here we've can been we, taking care we, of him for years. Can we go mm -hmm. on? Would I like? Would you like me to explain this, please? I don't really want, interested in it too much. I don't, you really I don't, don't like want me to explain, do you? At all. You don't want me to explain, do you? Because you really don't want to know what the reality is about this medicine. Your mind is fixed. It's made up. You think this medicine is bad for people. I don't. Know. And, I don't. And you object. To Listen, when I'm talking about medicine that is bad for him, I don't even know what kind of medicine you're talking about. Talking I don't know what marijuana. a man on the moon, what you're talking we're about. We're talking about marijuana, so now you know what we're talking about. Marijuana. Well, that's one thing my wife don't want him to see him use. Why? Why doesn't she want him to use that? It's an illegal drug. No, it's not illegal. It's legal to use in this state. It's legal for this patient to use this drug. It's not an illegal drug. Can you talk to Phyllis about this? And, it's, and it's, it his, it's his right you to use it. You just go around the voice and on and on, and we don't even know what you're talking about. Now you're finally coming out with it. Well, I, I'm telling you, if you listen to me, you'll understand. If you don't listen to me, you won't. I don't understand about marijuana. <clears throat> well, I'm here he, to help this, you this with is this. A, this here's man is a drug. It was a drug he, most of his life, <clears throat> and he's been on all this marijuana and all kinds of drugs. And what uh, harm has it caused? <clears throat> what harm has marijuana caused to him? Well, look at the shape. He's, he can't even get out of bed. He's been in this bed for a year. Can't and, even get out of bed. And why do you attribute that to marijuana? Why isn't it some, attributable to something else? Well, we're not attributing it to <clears throat> marijuana 100%. We're attributing it to everything that's happened to him. Well, so you don't have any idea that marijuana has actually harmed him. You just suppose it's just harmed him. Is that correct? Do well, you have any evidence All the drugs, drugs that he's been exposed to, because it hasn't done him any good. It's, yeah. It's harmed him. Do you know that aspirin kills 1,200 people every year oh, in the United God, States? I don't know that. You don't want to hear this? We should be talking I mean, this, about aspirin this, killing this, all these people. It is. And Tylenol. Well, I, I take Ecotrin, which is aspirin. I've been taking that for years, and it's killing me. Well, if you take it in large doses, it can kill you. It kills 1,200 people a year in the United States. Tylenol is responsible for more liver transplants than any other medicine. And all the other classes of medicines, the sleeping medicines, the anti-anxiety medicines, the pain relievers, and the anti-inflammatories, virtually all of those can be replaced with cannabis, which is safer than any of them. So, we feel that if he wants to use cannabis, we're going to sit here and evaluate him for this. And um, and uh, if you want to, we can. We would like to show you a video that we have of patients that have used cannabis. That maybe you could understand why people use this medicine. It's not an evil drug, and it can replace some of the medications that the doctors put them on. With a lot safer effects. What pills are you taking now? I've got a bad memory right now. Uh, methadone. I take You're on methadone? 30, 30 milligrams. Of methadone. Yeah. And uh, what do you know about methadone? Do you know if it's addictive or not? It probably is. Yeah. But I were you on them. morphine before this? I've been on everything. How old were you when you first started smoking cannabis? About 15 years ago. 15 but it, years ago. But I've been, uh, it's been a while since I've even smoked it. Yeah. But you, you have, you started smoking about 15 years ago. Yes. And uh, have you ever had an adverse reaction to smoking cannabis? 
Have you ever been harmed by smoking cannabis? Never. You've never been harmed by smoking cannabis, no. is that correct? No. And over a 15 year period, that's pretty remarkable for any medicine, isn't it? Sure. That's pr pretty proven safe medicine in your hands, isn't it? Yeah. Now, uh, are you able to w move your arms and stuff here? Yes. And uh, you, obviously you don't smoke cigarettes here. Could, you don't have... And it's been about two or three years. So it's are are you a tobacco smoker too? 50 years. 50 years? And you quit? Why'd you quit? I had to. Why? I got lung cancer. Oh, you have lung cancer too? Yeah. Okay. And what are they doing for your lung cancer? Is it inoperable? I've been treating it. It's inoperable? Lung cancer? They can't operate on it? No, it's not that bad. Well, lung cancer is bad, so if you have lung no. cancer, obviously a doctor's following you for that, right? No. No, I'm not getting any. No doctors evaluating you for lung cancer? Is it because no. you're too sick to be evaluated? Most doctors don't want to fool with me. Because you're too sick to be operated on? Pretty much. So you're considered inoperable, and that's why they've not decided to work up your lung cancer? Is that basically the I don't know. Idea? I haven't been evaluated properly. Okay. I was diagnosed about... And 19, I don't know about So you need further evaluation. We'll see, we'll make sure that you get further evaluation, okay, if you need yeah. that. Any kidney troubles? Yes. All right. Right now I'm peeing black blood. You're peeing blood? Yeah. And what's being done for that? They're giving me a pill, uh, antibiotic. I, I know that isn't the proper dose of treatment for it, but yeah. that's what they gave so me. So you have a urinary tract infection? Well, I have a, a bladder disease. It's called interstitial cystitis. Yes. And that means particular bleeding of blood veins in the bladder. Okay. So you have a doctor following you for that problem, I no, see. No, I don't. I use DMSO. That's what they used to use years ago yeah. for it. Well, it sounds like you need a little bit further workup on that, too, as well. There's no cure for it. I've taken a drug. Who's that, your medical doc? Well, I don't want you to just tell me, but uh, you have a medical doctor that follows your medical problems in yeah. general. Is that correct? I just transferred from one doctor to another. I, I doctor hop because they don't treat me, and I go to a new one. Okay. It, it's disgusting. Um, okay. It really is. The cannabis is a legal medicine, and they have delivery services that can deliver cannabis to your house, and you can use if you can't smoke because of your condition, if you can't smoke in bed, then there's other options. You could use cannabis in edible forms, which is really good for medical problems yeah. like you have. And you can also use a vaporizer, which uh, elevates the temperature of the cannabis, not to the point where it catches fire, but right below that the oils evaporate. And when you take a, a hit off of it, you get the vapors of the oil only, so just the medicine, not the, the burnt embers, no carbonaceous material, no poison gases, no carbon monoxide, that kind of stuff, okay? okay. So uh, the vaporizer might be something that you may consider, and it's a very safe thing, and certainly they use it at most hospitals here in California. So if you're a medical patient that uses cannabis, you can go to most hospitals in California today and that. get a vaporizer and, and medicate in the hospital. Because that. hospitals recognize that this medicine is a valuable medicine and it works better than a lot of other medicines for a lot of different problems. And that's why, that's why people risk jail on a daily basis to use this medicine. Because it's safer than any other medicine and it affects so many people in so many ways in a positive way. And it's been used and demonized by the government to arrest people, it's been used to arrest people and incarcerate people. So uh, we're here to help you and we're going to make sure that nobody denies you the use of this medicine, okay? okay. people